All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. And it is a Wednesday afternoon. I'm actually off for a change, which is kind of weird on its own. And I am presenting a, well, more of a simple stream, although most of my streams are simple, let's face it. Uh, playing some Streets of Rage 4. No, that's from right now. Okay, I was just making sure because on my, uh, bitch, on my stream software, it actually said 214, which was yesterday. And then underneath it said all the other messages were new. So I kind of figured you were here, plus you always say no. So hold on. Um, since you're here, I owe you a couple things. Uh, since you did actually fire this off right at the buzzer yesterday, I didn't forget. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? So we got that damn fourth Chaos Emerald. We're playing Streets of Rage 4 tonight, or today rather, the survival mode. I'm so used to streaming at night, it's so weird. It's only 2, not even 2.30 here on the East Coast. Uh, looking forward to some streaming action with you all. It's a nice day for uh, February, about 58 degrees. Let's welcome, once again, the goat, the dog, the dog Doggerson. Who's the pup with all the luck? It's Dog. Dog? Dog Dog is it, hmm. baby. That's weird. I usually am able to uh, hear that through my headset. Whatever. As long as people can hear me, that's all right. Just kind of weird that the audio monitoring wasn't working, but hopefully it played the freaking sound. Um, I can only hear the sounds of my laughter. We're about to hear the sounds of some beatdowns going down here as we play one of my favorite games of 2020. That's right. This game is uh, almost three years old now. The sequel to the original Streets of Rage trilogy back on the Genesis, Streets of Rage 4. Excellent beat-em-up, modern game. Uh, well, modern-ish. So let's see, we got the Weekly Sim, which is one that's always the same. I guess we'll try that one first. Jump in here as Axel. Axel's Keep forgetting you can actually change some of their special moves. I think I will try to do exactly that. All right, let's jump right in here. How you doing, Toaster? Had a lot of stuff going on in my life recently, a lot of big news, a lot of good news, and uh, just kind of having some fun today, nothing too crazy, just beating up some cops, and, well, if you say that out of context, doesn't sound so good, does it? But yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Alright, what do we got? Toxic weapons, I'm fine, alright, fine, I'll take it. Said so defiantly, I'm fine. You really are fine. Welcome to the stream, Toaster. Thanks again for the raid last night. Uh, definitely made things a little more interesting, playing a little Mario 64. Today we're playing this game. Getting in there. Some of this here action. Watch out. So far I have not had to do a thing. They've all just been falling by the wayside. Watch out. Ow. He gone. Weapon durability's up. Elemental bonuses are applied to your star move. Eh, I really don't like any of those. Or either of those, rather. Let's see, get enough points here. We can get an extra star move. I think it's 10,000 to do that. We'll find out right after this. I was wondering when we'd see the boxing arena. I like that they added all these new arenas, but it didn't add anything to the main game, which makes me think they have ideas for other, like, stages and stuff, and hopefully one day see it in the Streets of Rage 5. I would absolutely love that. Pretty great football game on Sunday. I know I didn't really talk much about it, but a really great Super Bowl indeed it was. Ouch. I hate when that happens. Got Retromania coming up, of course, this Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. So, you know, if you, if you didn't have a Super Sunday already last week, uh, we're sure to have one on this coming Sunday. I'm very excited about the gimmick that I've got on display. I guess we'll just have to wait to see what it is, but trust me, it's going to be a lot of fun. Always is. Always love having people on for the Retromanias, getting things uh, retroactive up in here. We're going to be doing that pretty soon, uh, Sunday, just a few days away now. We got Fire Blitz. I'll do the fire weapon, why not? Hey -o. Axel kind of a fire guy, you know, he likes his fire. Likes his fighting red hot. Ooh, it's an old Streets of Rage 3 style match. Ooh, ouch! Ah, oh, that's gonna leave a mark. And it did. Uh, 
Oh, I was trying to hit that little barrel there. Oh, well, time to waste it. I really did just waste it. Oh, I think I got one of his shurukens, and I just wasted that as well. Woo! That's going to leave a mark. Ouch! That left a big mark on my health bar. And my confidence, to a lesser degree. Watch out. Ouch. This is not good. Oh my god, I got myself in some trouble early here. Oh man, I might die here. I'm just gonna say, I, I'm not gonna go down this way. Prefer not to, anyhow. Jesus. I'm gonna get destroyed by the boss here. Uh, special cost removed. I guess I need that. I only have, like, one sliver of health left for the boss. I'm gonna have to go straight for, like, a full health up or something to even survive this. It's gonna be embarrassing if I'm out before round four. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I need some stuff before the boss spawns. And, of course, it's Adam. I had to use my star move just to get out of that last match or whatever. It's crazy. Ciao. This is not good. Hey, what's going on, Chads? Good afternoon. Guten day, however you say it. And not German, because you're not German. Oh, he caught it! Oh, that bitch. Holy shit. He caught my sword. Jesus. Hey, what's going on, Deadly Sandra? Oh, damn it, I took my eyes off the game for a second. That's okay. Oh, God, he keeps catching them! I take it you're a big Streets of Rage fan like myself? Oh, barely survived. Barely survived. I'm I'm stinking right now. Oh, I'm doing all right. How's it going there, wherever you might be? All right, I forgot to introduce Shads to the stream. How you doing, Shads? How you doing, Sandra of the Deadly Variety? Uh, that was only level four. <laughs> I'm usually better than this. Not much better, but a little better. Um, yeah, so that, that is... I'm off to a really crap start today. Uh, we'll see if I can do any better. I, I think my record is like level 20 or something like that. I'm also doing the weekly sim and not the random one I usually do, which I'll do after this. Glad to hear it, Chads. Glad to have you on the stream. Glad to have Toaster and everybody here. Enjoying some Streets of Rage action. Threat level rising. Oh, thank you for that turkey. I needed that. Always nice to meet somebody new, of course, when I stream. Somebody who I assume is a fan of the game I'm playing. Because I play so many random games. It's not... Every day I get to see a fan of a you know, specific game I'm playing, unless it's like a God of War or Grand Theft Auto situation, which I don't think I've ever streamed. Oh, no, I've done some of the old Grand Theft Autos. My point being, I don't play a lot of well-known games, so always nice to see a fan of one that I play. I hate those. Seriously, though. There's so many games. There's so many enemies in this game I do not like, and yet here I am. Oh, dude, hey, buddy. Grab this kind of badass-looking sword here. Pretty much anything that kicks is not a good got good news in this game because there aren't that many well kicking characters either. How was Metroid? Oh, Metroid Prime yesterday was great. Or not yesterday, a couple days ago. I'm getting my streams mixed up. I, I do so much streaming now. I mean, Metroid is fantastic. I assume you've already played the original Metroid Prime. I mean, I have, and I, even I'm still caught by surprise at how many of the elements I really loved. New a new patch for Rage Four. Awesome. It's great to see they're still um, updating this game after so much time. Although I would like to see a Streets of Rage 5, but I guess I'm just greedy like that. Ooh, these guys. Streets of Rage 5. V8. Really? There aren't that many versions now? 
How about just give us version 1 of Streets of Rage 5? Only the Wii one. Well, it's alright. It's still the same game, kind of. Except apparently harder. To me, it reminds me of the GameCube one in terms of difficulty. So we're talking a little Metroid Prime from the other night. It's the new remaster of Metroid Prime. Highly recommended if you even remotely like the original. It's even better now. Woo! Alright, that was a nice little combo there. Ouch, that was not so nice. They increase damage? Alright, well, whatever. At least you gotta go with what they got. Woo! Right, that left a mark. I do say. All right. Oh, I'll take those. Level seven. Go with stars. Thank you. I think I will. And I think I did. I saw her coming at me. This is one of those levels where you almost don't have to do as much because the freaking stage gimmicks are going to hurt them. You obviously still got to do stuff, but not as much. Look, look at that. I just got tossed around by the freaking thing of fire or whatever. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but it just kind of worked. All right, cool. Not really cool, but what am I going to do? Again, I'm just standing here while the meteors fall on them. Ouch. Oh, I thought that was like one of them with an after image. It's actually two of them. Can I suggest you something? Okay. Yeah, I'm listening. Toaster already knows how I feel about some of those suggestions. But no, I, I am sincerely listening. What, what's, what you got? Because I am always looking for ideas to grow the channel or at least... <laughs> at least make the channel better. Not that it's a bad channel, but it is what it is. I know I have my flaws. Certain, certain things about me just aren't going to change, but certain things can. See if I can blow that up. Oh, shite. Oh, he's got that thingy. Can I have your Discord? Oh, I love these. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can... I mean, I'm trying to... I'm actually trying to remember my own Discord number. I am on I am on Discord under Chaos Blur, which is not a secret, because that's my, that's my name on here. But I'm trying to remember what my number... I honestly don't know my Discord user number. That's a trap. Eh, it might be, but... You know what? I don't know. What are, they, what are they gonna do? Steal my Discord? Steal my free Discord that I get no money for? Oh, I mean, my Discord isn't Chaos Blur. And my name isn't Bobby Gaines, which I put literally all over the stream. I have no idea what my name is. Ignore that guy who says everything about themselves. I don't know who I am. My, my legal authority has told me that I cannot say things that I say on a daily basis anyway, which reminds me, we got Retromania coming up in a little bit. We do. If I'm going I'm to give away any info, I'm going to give away my Retromania stuff. As I'm also trying to fight here, so I don't know how well that's going to go. Hey, what's going on, Spidey? Okay, so we we'll able to just give away your person needs a Discord channel like Jeff has. I honestly, I mean, I again, I have one of those too, but God knows if I know the name. Playing the VR, I am. What's going on, Spidey? I see. I'm, I'm like getting so distracted right now that uh, I'm not able to talk to everybody at once. But I do appreciate you all showing up here. I mean, you want my social security number? I'll give it to you. It's um, 0374214481. That is not the real one. Don't worry. I mean, again, I have nothing to steal. Like, people are like, oh, don't give that away. They're going to, like, what are they going to steal? going to steal my, like, $5? Like, okay, steal it. You really care. Deflate, I mean, yeah, exactly. Deflate this. Okay, this guy's getting me a little pissed off right now. Got him. All right, now that I have a second, I can properly introduce Spidey to the stream. Appreciate him. Appreciate everybody. I almost never get to use his animation here. Special moves decreased... Fire weapons. Yeah, we'll do some fire weapons. Just realized I am, like, kind of on low health right now. 
Yo, what's going on, Spidey? Is there any way you could jump into this game? I, I don't know. It probably would get really glitchy when he is uncharged. I will say, you know, uh, Sandra knows their uh, Streets of Rage. Oh, shite. This is where they start using bosses as, like, enemy characters now. That's when you know you're in some trouble. Hey, leave my freaking partner alone. Only I'm allowed to beat him up like that. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. I get your point. I'm getting out of the way. I do enjoy just chilling. Oh, okay, that broke it up. You need to unlock Chelsea. Co well, she's tough to unlock. They got her under, like, a paywall like you would not believe. Oh, my God, I just killed myself. What the freaking ball? Wow, that thing just... Whew, like a wrecking ball, am I right? Uh, Chelsea Cutler would be tough to unlock. She'd have, like, a million singing abilities. Hmm. Yeah, it's nice to see some people here today. Always nice to see the people. We're going to go back to Random Sim right now. Go to one of my favorites, who's Blaze. Blaze Fielding. Yeah, in due time, we'll get Chelsea Cutler. Maybe in the next version of the game. Maybe version 8 or 9. I don't know. If you want to play together, I got... Yeah, it could be worth a shot. I just don't know how the internet's going to hold up. I've actually never done the survival mode co-op. I assume you can. Oh, wow, she just suplexed the crap out of them. So we got Golden Knife. I'm going to take the uh, ally. It's actually not a bad one either. I do enjoy getting Chelsea Cutler unlocked. Threat level rising. You mean it can rise from zero? <laughs> Interesting how. Like, is it, like, playable? I, mean, I guess if you're, like, in the same room with the person it is. But if you're online, I don't know. So you call it for Super Bowl 20. I mean, honestly... Honestly, Chelsea Cutler should be at every Super Bowl ever. Like, I don't care how much they have to pay her. Just for the pure entertainment value of it, they should get her for every Super Bowl. And every event, actually. Every kind of, like, thing. I mean, they got her for New Year's Eve, which was a good start. But I want her for Christmas. I want her for the Thanksgiving parade. I want her for Halloween. Like, she's got to be doing, like, every event. Any kind of big event. Five each other, you get to choose. Oh, that's kind of cool. How do you revive... Yeah, but how do you revive people? I feel like you have to, like, just not get hit for a while. Kind of like in the Turtles game. Like, yeah, it sounds easy in principle, but... Also, trying their alternate special is kind of interesting. Look up my cop friends just getting beat up over there in the corner. Oh, hey -oh. They gone. You gotta watch more. I do enjoy Pat, Matt, and Pat. You're just saying that because freaking um, Sh Shads is on the stream right now. Or is it zero? It's been a while since they've talked. Shads, okay. Shads will show up, you know, say a couple things, and then I... Not that I forget they're there, but they, they don't say more things. I was watching it the... I do enjoy watching it the other day. I am sad. Why are you sad? See, look, now they're talking. So now I remember them. First day someone died, and you get the chance to revive them instead of... Oh, okay, I see. What's the furthest you've ever made it in this, Spidey? I think I've gotten to, like, level 18 or 19, maybe once. It's weird, because my record is actually pretty high, but most of the time I'm dead by, like, level 12. You don't, I know which twin comes in. Like I said, you guys don't talk much, so it doesn't, like, stay in my consciousness. I'm just like, oh, they're on, and then, like, they're not talking. And I'm like, well, they're still here somewhere. Because I'm not always, like, counting how many people are here, but, like, when I do... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm always counting how many people are here. Speaking of which, uh, if I haven't mentioned it already, check out uh, Retromania 54 this Sunday at 1. Ooh, hold on. We got a redeem for the Sonic hat, which just happens to be sitting here. Like you talk much in my stream. Ooh, ooh, shots fired. Hey, I see. If I see you online, I try to tune in. I talk plenty. Besides, do you guys really want more of me? I talk enough on my own screams. But I do check you out sometimes. If I'm online, usually you're on at like around 7 or 8 my time, which is when I'm usually a little bit busy. But if I'm on Twitch at like 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., I'm like, yeah, I'll check this out. It actually would be very late for you guys, so I'm not sure what that's about. I mean, I don't check out a lot of Jeff Chu streams either, and like, I actually like have met him. It's 2035. Really? How did we lose that much time? That's like 12 years from now. hey -oh. You mean, like, right now it's, like, 8 o'clock for you?
Ah, the old boxing ring. Now, I was saying it's kind of weird they have these boxing rings and like the airport and some of the other things, but they're not in the main game. Like, they just made these arenas specifically for this mode. Makes you wonder if they're like from scrapped levels, or maybe we'll see them in the next Streets of Rage game. I don't know. But I really like this boxing ring. Like, this would have been a really fun level to have in the main game. Even if it was like a moving one or something, or some kind of gimmick, I'm sure. Wow, she just went ape shit on that. Who's your favorite Streets of Rage character, uh, Spidey? Either new or old. They did add a few new characters to this game, along with the classics. I feel like mine is still Blaze. Like, the, even though the other characters, some of them play better, I just, I really like playing as Blaze. She just, she's pretty fast. Good, good diverse attacks. Like, I like characters really helping me as I fall down the friggin' pit. Can't help me there, can you? Oh! oh. Boobs. I mean, yeah, she, she does have them. If you do... Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I like the Air Master, though. I think I... That sounds like a piece of workout equipment, the Air Master. Oh, as I just Air Mastered my way out of the arena. It'd be funny if there was just a character called Boobs. <laughs> boobs the Bat. Oh, shit, it's an old stage. Retro callback. And if you like retro callbacks, well, that one's just easy. You'll like Retromania. <laughs> it's just Drake, Drake and Josh as one character. They just work together. And freaking Megan shows up every now and then and goes, Booms. She's like the assist trophy or something. You know, they don't have those in this game. Damn it, I can't tell which one's the real one. It's the one that's pissing me off. They both kind of are. You know, what I still want to know is how Sandra Douglas, or whatever her name was, was going to improve my channel. I feel like we're not going to know now, because they're gone. I should have just given them, like, my ho home address. They could have mailed me a nice little packet. I mean, honestly, like, I'm not against suggestions. Like, I could definitely use some help with my dis- my, Not my Discord, but my, my Twitch stuff I could use some help with. Like, I'm not going to lie and be like, Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm, I'm this multi-million dollar agency I got going on here. They, I know it was. I, I was just kidding around. What's weird is, though, I think they genuinely liked the game. Like, they were saying stuff about the game that was true. That, that's why it wasn't like, sometimes I, you know, get those bots where they're like, oh, I'm playing, like, Sonic, and they know, like, nothing about Sonic. Like, this person actually knew some stuff. In fact, they might even still be here. I have no idea. But, like, I want to know what the suggestions were, because, you know, you got some suggestions to make my channel better. Yeah, I don't think it was a bot either, but, like, it was just weird how... See, if you're gonna... Troll for services, and I'm not saying they were trolling, but if you're going to ask for services, like, that's actually the way to do it. Like, they actually were talking to me like a real person. They didn't just jump in there. Th that's the other thing. Yeah, they could have just said, like, oh, here's what I think you need to do or whatever. Like, no. Instead, it's like, oh, what's your Discord? It's like, we're all right here. Hell, there's some stuff I'm still thinking about to do for my channel. All right. Anyway. But, I mean, as far as, like, things go, that's why I wasn't really mad. I wasn't like, oh, God, this is going to be stupid. Like, I was legitimately open to it. I like making friends. What can I say? And, I, I you know, if they had stuck around, we could have kept talking, and I would have been fine with that. Not like Sarah Evans or whatever, where it's just like, hey, you want some graphics? I mean, that's why I started to stream. I mean, yeah, I like... Uh, of course, I love you guys. You're always here. But, like, you know, I like seeing some new people and seeing what they have to say. Yeah, if, oh, God, if Chelsea Color on the stream, I mean, just stop the stream right now. Like, that's freaking celebrity. On my stream? Oh, my God. I think I would die. I think I would just pass out from the excitement of it. Of course, you guys all know who Chelsea Cutler is. She's not just known from here. She's known all over the world. It's the, one of the best artists of all time. 20-time uh, award-winning... Best singer of all time, Chelsea Cutler. It's almost not fair to compare her to anyone else, because, you know, there's just no one's better. No one. Certainly not Rihanna. I really like her special... Not, not even her special, her, like, heavy attack, where she just kind of spears through you or whatever. You just, like, hold the button, it's like... Dzz. Watch out. Didn't have enough fire in here. We got this guy breathing some... One of the singers of all time. What do you mean was? She still is. One of the best to ever do the song Imagine. In fact, she may as well have just, like, brought John Lennon back to life and been like, dude, I made your song so much better. 
All right, maybe that's a bit much, but you get my point. Like, she was, she was something right there. Imagine that. And she did. Imagine it. Level six. Fight! Yo. You forgot the O on that YOLO. Ouch. Alright, I forgot to not get blown up there. Let me throw this stupid thing. I do enjoy throwing that stupid thing. Hold on, we got another reward redeem. I'll, I'll get it after this fighting round. It's hard to, like, really do much when you're playing this. Like, you kind of just have to focus on the moment. Doing a lot better as Blaze right now. But yes, we are going to have a hell of a time. In fact, we are having a hell of a time. They gone. Yeah, we're having a hell of a time here. We're going to have a hell of a time on Sunday with Retromania 54 as well. No doubt about that. But now that you've really pissed See, again, me my off, audio monitor is not working. So nice I don't know if that plays. Slow. MJ and I are gonna have a hell of a time. We'll just have to assume it did. Hey, oh. that one I can at least see it did. All right, let's go through the portal here. Let's see what's next. Level 7, another fire stage. Cool. Oh, shit. How can he catch that if he already has a weapon? That's the whole reason I threw that, because I'm like, he can't catch it if he already has a weapon. Well, she was my face red. Ah, oh, I hate these guys. Say, so if I just play my cards right, I can just kind of wait for the fireballs to wipe them out. I don't even necessarily have to do anything. You know, try to do stuff, but see if it works right after this. Fuck. Okay. How the hell did he recover from that? Oh, whatever. His enemies are always very cheap anyhow. Fuck. God damn it, I really am dead. That's the end of that. But what a death it was. What a freaking disappointing ass death it was. <laughs> YOLO. In this particular mode, you do only live once. So, what do you like better, uh, Spidey? Uh, Streets of Rage 4 or Shredder's Revenge? I'm actually really not sure myself. I think Shredder's Revenge is, like, the best Turtles game. Like, I think it beats Turtles in time. I don't know. Just because I've had such a long... Well, I actually have had a long love for both the series. It's really hard for me to pick. I'm no hey -oh. More right now. Oh! Wow, just wasted him. Say, I like her character because she's really fast. Got fire heavy attacks, electric blitz. We'll go, it's electric, boogie, oogie, oogie for 200. Hey, oh. Threat level rising. Watch out. Ha, <laughs> that's kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. You get pretty powerful in this game, but then again, the enemies get more powerful still. I think Streets of Rage 3 is actually pretty underrated. It's a pretty good game. I think Streets of Rage 2 obviously takes the crown in most times, but... Streets of Rage 3 had some pretty cool moves as well, and I'm glad to see some of their characters in the game as well. Street Fighter 4 does a really good job of balancing what worked about all the games and kind of adding to it a little bit. 
I got turkeys for days. Oh, I can up my speed. All right, cool. Let's make her even faster. Watch her play that guitar. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Hey, uh, I do enjoy watching her play that guitar. Woo hoo hoo hoo! All right, what have we been playing lately? Any good games out there? People always want to ask me like what games I'm playing. I'm like some random ass shit. Like nothing anybody will probably know. But you know what? As long as you play what you love, it doesn't really matter. Oh, nice dodge underneath the special attack, or even just the regular attack. I didn't even mean to do that. Ouch, that was dumb. Never mind. She's fast, but she ain't smart. At least in that case. Ouch. Actually, let's see if I can at least hold it together here. Hey, frickin' ouch. Hey, frickin' oh. Toaster, didn't you say you were playing, like, a mod of Paper Mario or something? Or one of the Paper Mario games? That could be interesting. Oh my god, I can get even higher run speed? Oh, I think I'll give that a shot. Woo! Because I really like beat-em-ups. One of my complaints is that they're usually a little bit slow. But definitely this game, in Turtles in Time, I have a mod. How does that work? Like, well, what is it mod exactly? Like, I don't, I don't know really a lot about mods. Especially on a GameCube. Like, I know, like, PC modding is a thing. Oh, you mean you just, like, bought, like, one of those hacked cartridges, or hacked discs or something? I've done that more times than I'd like to admit on my Genesis. Really, only one of them is worth playing, and that's the, um, Metal Sonic game I have. Metal, uh, Sonic Rebooted. I've actually had that on Retro a number of times. Ooh, yeah. Wasting them. All right, what do we got for potential bonuses here? Fire Blitz? Yeah, we'll go Fire Blitz. Why not? Anything in here? All right. Cool, cool, cool. I feel good about this run, actually. I really do. I'm sure I'll be proven wrong as soon as this boss kicks my butt, but I feel good about it now. Oh, this actually, anything can happen in this arena. Like, good or bad. Oh, it's Mr. Y! Why not, I guess. Holy shite. I was not expecting him so fast. Ow. Let's say I'm gonna need some help here. Ah, damn it. See, this is what I mean. Woof! I don't even know where I am right now. I keep getting, like, shocked and then revived or whatever. Watch out. Seriously? He's got like one more hit left. Like, just hit him with the damn ball. Got to the point where they had two Mr. Wise. I remember that. I know as you get later in this mode, you have to fight like two of like each of the bosses or whatever. It gets ridiculous. Uh, score earned plus 40. Toxic special. I'm going to go damage up on that. You know, this gets really tough. I mean, it's actually, to be fair, it ramped up a little faster than I expected there. To make the first boss Mr. Y. I like when they start making up other names for them. Like, instead of DJ whatever, it's like Music Man Electrico. For the DJ boss. <laughs> Except you know you're in trouble when, like, the regular enemies are bosses. Like, the bosses from the main game are now, like, just thugs. So I'm like, oh, great. I gotta fight, like, seven bosses in this round. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin 11. I do enjoy Kevin Eleven. I thought you might like that one. Ow. Oh, maybe like that person Sandra was saying, like their suggestion was just that I get a Discord. 
I didn't think about it that way. Like, they're like, oh, I have a suggestion for your channel. And they're like, you know, like, get get it. Like, what's your Discord? Like, maybe they want me to get a Discord channel to promote it. Maybe that's what they were saying. I don't know. Try, trying to give them the benefit of the doubt there. But who really knows? Damage dealt minus nine. I'm not doing that. I'll take the. I'll begrudgingly take the golden boomerang. I don't really like it, but it's something that's gonna not hamper me long term. It's just a freaking weapon. It's freaking luggage, and it's gone already. Oh, actually, that is pretty cool. If I can slice through them pretty quick. I'll take it. Freaking Catwoman's in the game now. Doesn't look too bad for a villainous. And again, most villainesses are pretty sexy. Something about the black leather. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting off on a tangent that nobody asked for. I get it. <laughs> that guy just stood there and took that. Not my fault. I love the noise her special attack makes. Or her sliding whatever. Ding! Woo! Made fast work of them. And again, speed's the name of the game with this character. Fantastic. Heavy attacks. Fire Blitz. Yeah, we'll do a little more damage with the Fire Blitz. Why not? Fire Blitz. Sounds like a Smash Brothers move or something. Fire Blitz. Falcon Punch. Alright, we're at the airport now. Oh, wow, alright. Threw a knife, take a knife. That's just the way it goes. Ouch. I always hated the sliding ones. Oh, nice. Oh, not nice. This dick. Oh, it's like, I'm going to kill all these enemies and end up getting killed by one of those little knife guys. I just know it. Keep forgetting he can catch those, even if he has a weapon in hand. Woo! Woo! Nice. Ooh, normally I would take the toxic weapon, but I can't go against having three freaking star moves, especially with the boss coming up. So I'm not gonna go against it, I'm gonna absolutely take it. Hey -oh. I could probably grab one of these fenders. I don't think there's a weapon, uh, a character in the game that can hold two weapons. That'd be kind of cool, though. And you have two hands. Oh, it's another boxing arena thing. Ah, the commissioner, alright. He's about to commission out some pain. Those toxic pools are actually going to hurt them more than me. Especially if they keep throwing them there. Oh, that's going to leave a mark, though. Watch out. He's doing something. That's not watching out. That's almost getting hit by it. I actually haven't had to use a single star move here. I usually only use those if I'm, like, in the verge of dying. Which in this game I probably will be soon. Ooh, thugs. Watch out. I will admit that's a little distracting, but it's not necessarily stopping me from damaging the boss. It's not helping, but it's not extremely hurting. Watch out. It's kind of fun, because this, this move can dodge as well as attack, so, like, he keeps doing that move, and I just keep sliding into him. It's kind of like, you know, man, I might take a hit here or there. Damage dealt up. Ah, oh, three more stars? I cannot say no to three stars. I, I know I don't need them yet, but I will. This is really kind of preparing me for the stretch run, because this is going to get difficult now. This is where we start seeing some stuff.
Woo! Just like these enemies are moving faster. Oh, I hate the guy with the sword because he does so much. Look how much damage one attack from that sword did. It's a ridiculous amount of damage. That sword has no business doing that much damage. See how you like it. Yeah, you don't, do you? God damn it, again with that sword. Woo! Ah, the beautiful rhythm of violence. Walking speed up, toxic weapons. Yeah, let's get that walking speed up. They're definitely tempting me with things I like, because I would like to get the toxic weapon at some point, but every time they put it up there, there's like a better option next to it. This arena has its fair share of kind of cheap hazards. Oh, there's there's a fake one right there. Another Mr. Y, except oh, it's a Mr. What? Uh, that's right. They always change the names of the bosses to like something else. For copyright purposes, even though it's their own game. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. The moves are pretty good, too. They really are. Pretty much any of the moves that do, like, the burn damage. Apparently that arrow thing never turns off. Like, it's still shooting poison darts. Jesus. I'm like, there's no reason for me to stay in the middle of the arena right now. Gonna keep on doing this. Or not. All right, well, that tired me out. Well, I'm not sure I like any of these options. Damage taken minus damage dealt. All right, so they're both kind of the same idea. Uh, I'll go with the damage dealt up a little bit. Uh, I'm getting further in the game than I usually get, so I'll have to see how this ends up going. Level 11? Oh, geez, got the skewer. Yeah, did you not have the skewer real quick? Watch out. Oh, that's not watching out. It's getting hit right in the face with it. Ow, 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 ow. God, I will admit that is a very broken move. Holy shite. Damn it, I knew that was coming. And they juggle me into the freaking lava. It's ridiculous. And again, I'm pretty much just spamming my blitz move. YOLO. I mean, it really is YOLO. How long is this wave of enemies?
Got him. Finally. Fire heavies. You can't restore. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Oh, shit. It's time for the boss. If it were, I guess it's going to have to. Ooh, boy. Here we go. Probably gonna be a two boss one. Oh no, it's just a one. Oh, it's a stell though. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Just calling for backup. And what devastating backup it's gonna be. More right now. Now what you got? Damn. Got it. I, I didn't really want to use it, but eh, I kind of wanted to use it. I don't know. All right, so we got extra jump, last hurrah, electric blitz. I do enjoy me some electric blitz, but I also like getting the extra jump. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Just me or is that a different looking portal than before? It looks a little bigger. Find out how big it is right after this. It's pretty big. This is where I usually die. You know, boxing ring, anything can happen. Oh, we got these dicks. Ow. Really? The freaking bottom of the ring had to go up for that particular part? Whoa, okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, again with the knife guy. It's always the freaking knife guy. Always what does me in. Ah, oh, never fails. I think I'm going to leave work now. Well, at least you had some fun. I missed my lunch and nobody else is here. Well, then may as well treat yourself, I guess. Special stage effects, so that could be fun. And what else could be fun is Retromania. I mean, all right. I've got to fight. They really, well, no, they don't finish last, actually. they. Well, I guess they finished me off last, if that's what you meant. Couldn't take my lunch. You really could not. Bonnie is once again struck big time. I actually never last that long as Floyd. Find out how long I last this time right now. I really did get fucked, apparently. Yeah, it happens. Can't win them all. Now, this is a guy who needs some speed buffs because he is slow as hell. Strong, but really slow. So, like I said, I usually don't make it very long as him just because of that. I like his character, but... It usually does not last very long. But we'll see how long it lasts right after this. Get an air master. Usually I go with the air master, but just because he's so slow, I kind of need more help than that. If it was a speed up thing, I would definitely have taken it. Although air master is a pretty nice one. Okay, well that that is admittingly pretty good. Hopefully some of these bombs can land. Ow. Or just meteorites. Well, whatever, I guess. Ouch. Whatever goes in these matches kind of is what happens. Alright. There we go. That was an explosive way to start. 
Oh, there we go. Speed up. Now he almost goes as fast as, like, regular Axel. As opposed to his 8 or 16, or rather, 16-bit counterpart. There is no 8-bit. This game was never on the second Master System. Ayo. Okay. Woo! That seemed excessive, but fun. Ow. That seemed just excessive, not fun. There's, like, no weapons in the arena? Or is it just, like, Floyd is the weapon? Floyd Mayweather, hey -o. Oh, nice shot with the laser. Damn, just point blank in the face on that one. Oh, I'll take some toxic weapon. I never got toxic weapon that whole time before. I'll be back in the stream at 30. Guys. All right, well, we'll see if we are still on by then. But if we are, we will see you then. But definitely do check out some Retromania 54 on Sunday at 1 o'clock. I wonder what Rem's doing right now. Probably also working. It's like one of the few availabilities I have that's not like some weird time, and then probably a lot of people are working because it's Wednesday afternoon. Whoopsies. Woo! Blasted him. Huh. I do enjoy how ridiculous that was. Oh, I'm just glad I didn't fly off the edge there. Ouch. Ow. Woof! I do enjoy dead. Basically, what I heard there. All right. Oh, up to the boss already. All right. Let's do it up. Do enjoy being up to the boss already. Let's do it up. I don't think I've seen this be a boss arena in a while. Freaking Indiana Jones stage. Oh, it's my own nemesis. It's me, Floyd. Oh, all right. Well, I showed me right there. Actually, the, the character fights are some of the harder ones. I need to fight one of the characters in the game. Well, I'm doing pretty well against myself right now, which is weird to say. I'm really taking it to myself here. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, there goes my ally. Killed in a somewhat blaze of glory. Really? Got him. Or got me. Figured I could afford to do it since I had the turkeys just chilling there. Ooh, I can add electric weapon to my whatever. Yeah, let's let's add that to my whatever. Do enjoy adding that to my whatever. Now we wait to see what kind of carnage we can bring. Quite a bit, I'd imagine. Threat level rising. Stupid things that roll up into a ball are, like, invulnerable. Ow. Ooh, talk about going cold turkey. Ouch. We all got affected by that one. about your hat tricks. Yeah. That would be me in pretty much any action movie, just making quip after quip. 
when at full health. Uh, we'll, we'll add some defense, I guess. I gotta think, uh, think ahead here. Think as smartly as possible. I think that's a word, smartly. Think as smartly as possible. I don't know. Some, something to that effect. I'll have to see what right after this. Really? Say, take that. I do enjoy the Streets of Rage 3 music. <laughs> ah! I love all the screams and groans in this game. It's always so ridiculous. God, she's like, I think she's a boss character in the original Streets of Rage 3. I could be wrong. Because we could find out in Retromania 54. Yeah, take that. Alright, what do we got? Last hurrah. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. That one's just dumb. I think I took that one once because like I had to. The one where you can't jump, and I'm like, that's dumb. And it was. It was very dumb. Level 7. Ow. Ah, damn it. There's a way to, like, hit a button at a certain time so you don't take as much damage from the throws. Hell if I remember how to do it. But if I did, well, I'd probably be doing it. Watch out! Ah, oh, so obvious. Oh, thank you for a well-placed turkey right there. Doesn't help that this is one of the courses with, like, the wind blowing against you, and he's a slow character to begin with. Woo! That was a nice shot. Ah, the knife guy again! I swear that knife guy's gonna kill me in every single run I do. Like, that's gonna be the last enemy that hits me, is that knife guy. Just wait and see. I'll make it to, like, round 26 or something, and then the knife guy will be the finishing blow. All right. And we'll upgrade my ally, because I think there's a boss coming up. Oh, she's actually pretty good for an ally character. Let's see what kind of boss we're dealing with now. Uh, again in this arena, just a different iteration of it. I should probably see if there's any health things in here. Oh, it's Blaze! All right, she'd be blazing. Sakurai Blue! Okay. Shit. Okay. I say, basically, I know I have the power to beat her. It's just, am I going to be able to survive long enough? Also, my ally's already gone. Shit! Go, go, go. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Yep. I was like, it was close, and I'm just like, I think I'm dead. And dead is indeed what I was. I'm actually surprised I made it that long as him. I'm not good as him. In case nobody caught that. I didn't even get anything unlocked for that. Adam's a pretty good all-around character, though. I don't know, like, how many extra special moves or whatever you can unlock as those characters, but... Someday we'll find out. Someday we'll find them. The Rainbow Connection. The Lovers, the Dreamers, and me. How's that for a warm-up? Pretty intense warm-up. Yeah, we'll start right off with the Toxic Weapon this time. Why not? So we're trying to think long term here, like what the best options are going to be in terms of upgrades, and you just never know. You just never know.
Toxic Blitz, anybody? Sounds like the kind of gimmicky name a restaurant would have, like if it was like called like the Toxic Dump or something. Like our special is the Toxic Blitz. Why did I? I was dumb. I don't know why I took that health item already. Ah, damn it. That was a waste of a special attack. Watch out. I always know, like, the pa attack patterns of some of these guys, but it still doesn't help me, like, to avoid them. I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy's going to jump at an angle. And two seconds later, I'm getting hit at an angle by a jumping kick. Damage up by 10. But then again, this has a higher damage boost if my health is lower. So, it's, again, kind of a risk-reward type of thing. Obviously, you don't want your health to be low, but if it's going to be, maybe this will do a little more damage. I don't know. I'm talking to myself here. I'm analyzing things for no apparent reason. Hey, oh. Oh, shite. All right. Well, on my way to that last two rod now. Pretty much hated these guys in the coats, those enemies, for the longest time. Some giant sword. It's so ridiculous. Freaking buster sword right there. In a Streets of Rage game? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, that was a nice move. Too bad it didn't hit anybody. But if it had, oh boy. They'd be in some trouble. Enjoyed it. Woo! Look at that sword. Look at that sword twirl. That's a beautiful sword twirling right there. Oh yeah, give me those stars. Hold on. I don't want to waste that. I want to have at least one hit with that and the boss. We'll see who that boss is right now. All right. Again with this arena. I guess the game has a lot of faith in me here. Oh, Mr. Y again. Well, why not, I guess. Watch out. Oh, it dropped a star? Damn, all right, I'm kicking some butt here. Oh, did I just do that? No, that's his special. He just activated. Watch out. Watch out. Let's see if I can just get a few more hits on him. I don't even need to worry about these thugs. I just got to hit him. Got him. Say the toxicity did him in there. You need less toxic sludge in your diet. Uh, we got the Air Master. Yeah, we're going to probably do the Air Master. I feel like I get the Air Master and I very rarely remember to use it. Like, I'm usually not in fights going, oh, I remember to double jump or sometimes even triple jump. But if I did remember to use it, oh boy, I'd be slightly more unstoppable. Or slightly less stoppable. I don't really know how that would work. But we'll find out right now. Oh, this one. This one could always go either way. They could spawn, like, 20 enemies at me, and, like, they're all really hard, or it also could just not matter because of all the gimmicks. Like that. Stage, ironically, kind of makes it easy for you while also occasionally making it more difficult for you. It's all about how you play it. Like, right now, I'm barely doing anything. Oh, fuck. Those are going to explode on contact. Fuck, see what I mean? That was bad. They're gone, although that fire thing's gonna land. I wonder if anyone's ever died from, like, the fire thing landing after the fact. Alright, so... Bloodthirst I'm likely not gonna take, which means I'm gonna take the buddy character. Which is... There you go. Look how strong you can make that buddy character. Like, I wonder if you can upgrade it to, like, a boss. A boss will come in every round with you. And just make sure the other characters do not mess with you. I'm trying to get him to get hit with the crusher. Not going so great. Um, that was almost directly under it. 
Somehow I timed that just wrong. Like, literally just die. Oh, the laser sword. That's a fun one. I don't know if there's a way to equip some of the weapons you get in this mode in the regular game. I feel like there should be if there isn't. Even if you have to unlock them. Like, have it so that I can use the laser sword in the main game, or the marlin. Some of the more absurd weapons. That's saying something, because Streets of Rage has always had some absurd weapons. Special... we'll do damage dealt up. Speaking of which, I'm gonna take this little laser sword right now. Almost looks like something you'd win in an arcade. Like, it's, it's clearly not a lightsaber, but it's trying to be a lightsaber. It's like a ninja version of a lightsaber. Like a light samurai sword. Something like that, I don't know. I just played a game. Now, these guys are both, I think, the same boss from Streets of Rage 2. Which is funny, because this level's from Streets of Rage 2, but it doesn't actually... This is not where these guys appear. How do I know that? Because I was just playing Streets of Rage 2 the other night. I do enjoy Streets of Rage 2. Oh, that's gonna hit me. I was gonna say, I don't know how I've been getting away with not getting hit with that. Watch out. <laughs> Knife guys, my arch enemy. Oh, that was fun. Knife guy! Ooh, is that like Mr. X from the original game? Or like some version of him? Ow. Robo X, yeah, he's from uh, Streets of Rage 3, I think. That was creepy. Still is, I assume. I'm like Britney Spears, don't you know that I'm toxic? Okay, that was pretty lame, but meh. You come to expect such things from this channel at this point, let's face it. Warning, 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 Will Robinson. Ooh. Wait, this, it looks like Axel, but it's Break. All right. My turn. Ooh, these guys. Not the men in black, but it's the men in white. Ooh, all right. Well, that, in retrospect, was very predictable. Oh, shit. Well, at least I wasn't in the way of that. Ah, he killed my fake ally. Or I guess he's a real ally, but whatever. He killed him for real. Woo! That'll waste him. Let's see what else we got. Toxic Blitz. Special moves cost 10% less health. But we'll go with that, I guess. Sometimes when I get panicked, I start spamming the special moves, so it'll be nice if they cost less. Although you can recover your health by doing enough combos, which I always thought was a nice touch. Hang on. What a touch it was. Touch of genius. Threat level rising. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. That's one of the DJ guys. Oh, there's the Marlin. Such a ridiculous weapon. The Marlin. I hate when this DJ guy is one of the enemies. Got him. Something fishy about that encounter. Final hit with the freaking fish. That's got to be... That should be an achievement. Let's upgrade my ally to this chick. Because we saw how well that went last time. 
That did not go well at all. But we'll find out how well it goes this time, right after this. Ah, the boxing ring. Oh, it's got flames now as well. That's just great. Oh, he just caught it and threw it back, didn't he? Watch out. Oh, right down the fucking hip. Oh, boy. Watch out. This could be a fast one. Oh, he caught it. Uh, he caught it again. Fuck. Say, I kind of have to figure out how to... I say, I'm pretty sure she's killing all the enemies before I am. That was much needed. That was kind of funny. How does he keep catching my shit? Here, catch this. Oh, that's not good. He caught it. Rather, he caught me in the face with a freaking kick. Oh, boy. That was luck. Oh my god. This could go bad. Say I'm pretty much just gonna wait till she hurts herself doing that. There we go. That was I was not very confident in that. That's why I was playing pretty defensively. What is that? Glass canyon. Oh no 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 no. Well, I get an even stronger ally. All right, I get one of these ninja guys. Can't wait for them to die easily. But when they do, well, they'll still die. All right, here we go. I say, nice to have the ninja guy on my side for a change. There's also no crusher in the middle. In fact, there's really no hazards at all in this environment. Usually there are. Oof. Uh. Did my ninja guy die already? He probably did. No, no, he's still there. Oh, nice attempt to stop her. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Watch out. Oh, he threw it. Watch out. Oh, god damn it. He threw it again. It's such a predictable move. I can just get them in the corner and just start, like, wasting them. My ally's actually being somewhat helpful here. Ooh, wow. Ow. I don't think you ran through enough stuff. Could you maybe run through some more stuff for me? Watch out. Oh, nice shot. Watch out. A shot. Okay. Wow. All right. That was actually a pretty clutch run. I felt better about that run than the one before it. <laughs> damage is going to go up by 20. That's my overall damage, which is good timing because I'm about to go up against a boss. If you like going up against bosses, then you might really like Retromania. Is that the new Harry Potter game? It is not, and I should have been prepared for a graphic to address that one, but I am not, so... Instead, I will just fire off this one. I'm the shy side's 
I don't know why my audio monitor isn't working today, so I can't hear if those are playing, but whatever. Well, we are playing some Streets of Rage 4. It's the old Streets of Rage 4, but sort of new. Oh, great. Oh, I gotta deal with both these dicks. Guten Abend. Ah, danke schon. Hoffentlich alle bei dir ist gut. God damn it, come on. Wait. Wake up and start smacking things. There we go. I keep getting this one arena. Yeah, I'd say so. I keep thinking if there's like any big news I have or whatever. No, no just just uh, put in my uh, two weeks notice at my job for 16 years. Only to find out next week I'm still working like 50-something hours, but that's because I... I still have three jobs for the next two weeks or so. Then I go down to only two jobs. hey -o. Which means more time with you lovely people. Why does she attack you with one of those sticks they conduct music with? I have no idea. See is kinda dirigenten. More streams, twelve Nah, probably just the same probably just more of them, but all short. Have the attention span of a freaking hedgehog. Don't know why I went with that animal. Just just hit her like one more time. Thank you. Sorry you had to see that. Electric Blitz, Electric Special, Toxic Special. Actually, I could go for some Toxic Special. That's what they call my cooking, the Toxic Special. Heyo. What does that say? Oh, is that so? Oh, I like that. I thought it's for a second, I thought it said, it is it is so. And I'm like, what does that mean? Is that so? Yeah, das, das is so. Yes, get so. Ooh. 16-bit graphics. Oh, God. Is that the freaking, like, final boss from Streets of Rage 3 is a thug? That's kind of ridiculous. Jeez, where's the corner 3 when you need one? Played any Streets of Rage. Well, obviously, I recommend it. I think the fourth one's actually the best. Although I do like Streets of Rage two and three. Streets of Rage one to me doesn't did not age well, but I mean I could see why people liked it at the time. Definitely, some of the touches they added to this one I really like, which is that you can throw the weapons and then catch them and throw them again. In the original games, once you threw the weapons, you could only throw them once and they were gone. Uh, it's just a minor touch, but it makes for a lot of fun, like, juggling weapons and trying to, like, basically outpace the opponents. They also turn the speed up a lot in this game, which I appreciate. Some of the old games felt a little clunky by comparison. Although I have to say, the new Turtles game, uh, Shredder's Revenge, is also really good. Whew! Tell you what, you'll get a workout. On those buttons, at the very least. Anyway, March 15th news. Nice! We, we still haven't watched the old Ted Lasso seasons. <laughs> but when we do... God, what, what is it he says? Oh, golly, or whatever. Like, yeah, I don't know what he says. I think we made it, like, through half of season one. Maybe. I know we didn't make it to season two. We might have finished season... No, nah, I don't think we finished season one. Fun show, though. A lot of heart. 
All right, we will meet on the mean Northeast streets. What's going on, Sage? You're not even from the Northeast, I thought. You're a uh, Kansas City Royals fan, and actually every team you like is nowhere near me. Nice throw. You excited for baseball season again? Now that football is finally over? And it was a good Super Bowl, I have to say. Ooh, some kind of icon. Not hip to your kids and your new icons. Your emotes, as they were. Whoa. Okay. Who cares? I mean, all right, I guess that counts. I mean, you've been up there probably, not probably, definitely more than I've been the other way. Furthest west I've gone, I think, is like... New York? Like Albany? Hard. They really, they can be. If you know what I mean. And most people do know what I mean. Ooh, fire. I'll do that. I'm not excited for baseball. I, you know what? I kind of am. I know people want to crap on the Red Sox, and I'm not saying they're going to be a great team this year, but eh, I'll, I'll enjoy it while it lasts. And if they if they really go in the gutter in terms of their play, then whatever. Let us see who sucks. Ah, uh, no offense, but I think the Red Sox are going to suck less. I don't think the Red Sox are going to be that bad. I don't think they're going to be great. I think the problem with the Red Sox is they're in the same division as the Yankees and the Rays, so I think they're going to just lose a lot of games from that. I mean, if you look at their record last year, which wasn't great, they lost, like, every, pretty much every series they played against the AL East, including the Orioles. Like, like, the other teams in the AL East are good, and they keep getting better. And the Red Sox are like, let's just kind of be okay. Like, if the Red Sox were in the AL Central or, well... No, that's right. There is really no contender in the AL Central. Like, the Twins are maybe the best team in that division. But, like, if the Red Sox were in the AL Central, even, like, the NL Central, like, I feel like they could get by and, like, probably win against those teams. Like, if they played the Royals, like, 18 times a year, they'll probably win, I don't know, at least 10 of them. But, like, you know, going against the, the Blue Jays, the Yankees, the Rays, you know, it is what it is. I'm just saying. They didn't do enough, I think. No, they didn't really do anything. They didn't do enough to make those games more competitive this year. So yeah, I agree. The Red Sox probably aren't going to make the playoffs, but I don't think they're going to be like a 50-win team. I think they're probably win like they did last year, maybe in the 80s or high 70s. But again, I think that's going to be because of the division they're in. I think they're going to lose a lot of games to the Ye the uh, yeah the yeah I can't talk the Yankees because the Yankees did a lot. I mean, they didn't do a lot, but they didn't have to do a lot. They got Carlos Ron Rondon. They already had a good pitcher, and now they have another one. My one critique on the Yankees for the last few years is that they have no starting pitching. Well, they wouldn't address that. Red Sox, in the meantime, still don't have any starting pitching. They didn't address anything else other than getting uh, Rafi Devers back, but they already had him. We see how that went. And they lost Bogarts. Oh, I just died. Too much Red Sox talk. But yeah, they lost Bogarts, so that obviously doesn't help. Now, I'm not going to pretend to know about the Royals roster. I know everybody was going nuts about Andrew Benintendi. They are not going to get... They're going to get more than 50 wins, man. I'm, I'm sorry to say. I mean, I'm not sorry to say because I'm a Red Sox fan. I already told you my prediction. I say they'll be like 80 wins. Maybe 80, 81 wins. Heck, that might even be enough for a third wild card. I don't know. The only reason I don't say they win more is because they got to play the division team so many times. But I... I mean, even if you look at them last year, they weren't bad against, like, the Astros or some of the better teams in the league. But, like, they got destroyed by the Yankees. They got destroyed by the Rays. They... We're under 500 against all the AL East teams. I mean, it, it, there's no wonder why they ended up where they did. But they still didn't win 50 games. They won like 78 games. So maybe they win another 75 to 85 games. And again, I mean, we can analyze it as long as we want. But I also am not going to go as far as to say they get 50 wins with the team they have. Which, yeah, it is a little bit of a worse team. But they also did add help in the bullpen with Kenley Jansen. They also added Corey Kluber, who I think might be an underrated pickup. Again, it's neither here nor there. I just I think Alex Cora gets the most out of him. I think we're looking at probably another third or fourth place team. Again, nothing great, but nothing terrible. I know Trevor Story might be out for the season. That would be a big loss, but I don't know. I, I, I do enjoy that I could talk sports with you, though, and you actually know what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't get my sports talk. But uh, what was I going to say? Oh, geez, really making me uh, do some stuff here. All right. I like how I got that weapon. I didn't even take it. So that was a wasted bonus. It's like, here's a free weapon. Nope. You keep the money. 
But now you're you're being way too harsh on the Red Sox. Say they get 50 wins. Like that's like Detroit Tigers. Like when the Tigers are really bad. And I don't know if the Tigers are any better, but I do agree they need to fire Bloom. I don't even know why they hired Bloom. The problem with the Red Sox is they make a reactionary move. Like everybody complained that Dombrowski was like trading all the young talent or whatever. So they're like, okay, we'll get a guy who's more into analytics, who's going to keep the young talent. It's like that's great, but now we have no talent. Like, like, they basically went the opposite. So now if they get rid of Hein Bloom, they're going to hire someone who's, like, more the other way. Who's just going to sign, like, maybe bad con. Not that I, I didn't think Dabrowski signed bad contracts, but they might get somebody who just signs, like, the highest price free agent every year. You know, somebody, like, from the Mets, except not smart, because I actually think the Mets owner's doing a really good job. But that, that's just the Red Sox, though. You know, one year they're like, oh, we're not going to sign... Like, veteran players we are going to focus on youth. Then the next year, they're like, oh, you know what? We're only going to sign veteran players. We're not going to sign young players. It's just every year with them, their philosophy changes. And it's very frustrating as a Red Sox fan, obviously. So, yeah, they'll fire Bloom at some point after they realize they're not winning or that the fans complain about it. But then they're going to hire somebody else who's going to have some other problem. Like, they don't really have a long-term plan. They act like they do, but they don't. My defense is last year they could hit, but the pitching sucked, and the pitching was good. The hitting sucked. Yeah, I mean, trust me. I watched a lot of Red Sox games last year. I saw what you saw. Now, the problem is they had Evaldi as kind of like a reliable, you know, not ace, but a decent starter. They don't have Evaldi anymore. Chris Sale, you don't know what you're going to get. It's not Dave O'Brien who says the Red Sox. Oh, I, I would never say that. Hitting sucks. Again, I think they're an average team. I don't think they're anything great. I think they could surprise some people, but... I kind of compare it to the New York Giants, who are my football team. You know, they finished like nine and seven or whatever. They made the playoffs, but you know, you look at that nine and seven. They started like seven and two, and then they lost a lot of games toward the end. I think that could be the Red Sox. I think they could go like maybe five hundred or so. You know, but nobody thought the Giants were going to do anything. Everyone thought the Giants were going to win like five games or whatever. They ended up winning nine games, but you know, like I said, they they kind of overperformed. I think the Red Sox might do that. They're not going to win a hundred. They might win 80. They, I think 80 to 85 is the high end. I think 70 is probably the low end. I don't see 50. you got to be pretty bad to be a 50-win team. Like, you actually have to try to be a 50-win team. Like, you actually have to look at your team and go, what are the worst players we can get at every single position? And then you'll have a 50-win team. I also don't know what I just did in that round to win. Like, that's how you, that's how you build a 50-win team. You sit there and go, do I have any good pitchers? Okay, trade them away. Like, that, that's how you start. Like, the Red Sox don't have great pitchers, but they have some good pitchers. I mean, they, Kenley Jansen's nothing to sneeze at. I thought Justin Turner was kind of a questionable move just because of his age. But, I mean, at least they made some moves. Like, I don't know, it still wasn't very good, but I think I scared everybody away with my baseball talk. <laughs> but, anyway. No, they're not going to get 100 wins. I don't even think they're going to get 90 wins. I, I think, like I said. Again, if they were in another division... If they were in another division, like, I don't know, even the AL West, even though they'd have to play the Astros, like, there's a lot of teams with, how do I say this, like, divisions that have some lousy teams. There's no lousy teams in the AL East. So, by default, they might be the worst team, but that's a really good division. So, being the worst division in the AL East is not the same as being the worst team in, like, the NL Central or something. Do you have in Bloom? I don't have faith in Bloom, if that's what you're asking. The thing with Bloom is, if the Red Sox are out of it by the All-Star break, which I kind of expect they will be to some degree, he'll make some weird trades like he did last year. Like, he'll trade, you know, like some decent player like Christian Vasquez for not much, or he'll, you know, trade a really good player. But if the Red Sox are somehow in it, he's also not going to make any good moves. Like, no matter what the situation is, he's not going to make the best decision. He's going to make some lousy decision, but he's going to do something. He's going to do something just to say he did it, but it's not going to be good. It's just going to be like, oh, we had to make a trade, so we made a trade. We got, like, a fifth starter or something. Like, when you got Tommy Pham or whatever. Like, you know, he'll get some player just to say we did it, just to look good in the record books. But overall, it's not going to mean anything either way. If they're good, if they're bad, he's not going to do anything to significantly improve the team. I don't think he has the guts. I think ownership made him re-sign Devers to that deal because that was a very expensive deal, which, I mean, I agree with. But I don't think Devers is still here if it's just Bloom calling the shots. I think that he lets him go. I think he let Bogarts go. But though, to be fair, I didn't think Bogarts was worth $280 million or whatever he got from the Padres. The Padres are like the opposite. The Padres just blow it all up just to try to get good for a couple of years. But, hey, I'll, I'll go with that, too. That's why I like Dave Dombrowski. I mean, you look at what he did with the Phillies. He took them to the World Series not that long after they sucked. I mean, he is a, you know, he does what he does. Like, yeah, he's you're not going to be good for, like, 20 years, but you'll be really good for, like, five years. I'll take that. 
not even paying attention to the game right now. I'm trying to, but this baseball talk admittingly has me interested. Because baseball is such an interesting sport to talk about. Like, one year you could go into the season thinking that your team's like a real, you know, World Series contender, and then, like, the next year you're looking at a team that doesn't have much. Like, I've seen it all the time, and vice versa. Like, you know, the Red Sox might be bad. They might not be bad. I mean, no one thought the Orioles were going to do what they did last year. Now, I don't know that the Orioles do that again. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But, you know, one year you're on this great trajectory. The next year, I don't, I'll never forget how the Red Sox had all those great starting pitchers in, like, 2010. They had Beckett. They had, um, who was the other guy? Clay Buckholz. Like, they had a really good rotation. And they signed them all through, like, 2016 or whatever. They had John Lester. They had Josh Beckett. Basically, they had their top, like, four pitchers all signed through, like, 2016. And it was like, oh, this is going to be, like, the best starting rotation in the AL East for the next five years. I remember that distinctly. You know, everybody praising them for signing all those pitchers and having them all ready to go. And, like, they all either flamed out, went to another team. I mean, like, it didn't last. It lasted maybe, like, two years. Like, Beckett was gone by 2012. Um, Buckholz was just never healthy. Lester got traded in 14. So, I mean, like, you know, that whole dynamic changed in about a couple of years they went from like oh this big rotation for five years to oh only one of these guys actually really pitched because lackey was out for a while so i mean things can change it can look good on paper and then not turn out good or it might not look good and then it looks good ironically i think the yankees are like the luckiest when it comes to that like the yankees will get players who look like they're done and they'll get like more out of them like the yankees will make some weird moves where you're like that's not gonna work and then it does like when they got ichiro at the end of his career and he ended up being like a decent hitter for them like i'm not saying that happens all the time but it's just kind of funny that the yankees who already spend a ton of money also get lucky with the veteran free agents that other teams need they're like yeah we'll just get what's his name and he'll have like a career year with the yankees and the red sox get him and he sucks it's like whatever Well, I mean, yeah, no, I agree. Heck, what about Dennis Eckersley? Dennis Eckersley was like that, too, and now he retired, quote-unquote. I think they fired him, but I love Eckersley. He's not going to be in the booth either, so now you're just going to have who? O'Brien and some yes man? I have no idea who, but um, no, I love Remy and Orsillo. Obviously, we all did in Boston. Um, obviously, Remy's not coming back, unfortunately. Um, Orsillo, also probably not coming back because he's in San Diego, but... No, they were great together. They were hilarious. So many great years. Whether the team was good or not, you know, you always had fun watching the games with them. I can't say that about the news. Like, even if the team is good, I don't have fun watching with Dave O'Brien. Like, in 2018, when they won the World Series, it was, like, the most boring World Series team ever because, like, O'Brien and... I forget who it was that year, but whoever was his partner, it was just kind of like, eh. Might have even been Remy at that point. And, I mean, Remy's a great broadcaster, but it, it was great to have, like, Orsillo to bounce off of. I mean, they both know their baseball. But together, they were just, like, really good. I, I don't know, like, who... I don't know who the Royals guy or guys are. Like, who, who the voice of the Royals is. I know, you know, every team has one. The big Royals fan out there. With the George Brett poster hanging in the office. Jesus. Woo! All right. I'll take a piece of that action. Why not? My health is pretty low right now. See how long that lasts right after this. <laughs> I feel like I don't have, like, that many health ups as her, or that many, uh, like, elemental whatevers. What if I could be playing, like, any game and just transition into baseball talk in the background? It's like I'm passionate about baseball, but I'm not. Like, I'm not as passionate as I used to be. I used to know, like, everything about almost every team, and now I, could, I couldn't tell you about most teams now. Including my own. I'm still kind of bummed the Mets didn't get Correa. I knew the Red Sox weren't going to get them, but I, when it looked like the Mets were going to get them, I was actually kind of excited, because I like the Mets. The Mets are a team that's not afraid to pull the trigger to win a World Series. Like, they also haven't won one in a while, but still. Like, the, the, the Mets want to win now, and it shows. That's what that's what every team should be, honestly. Like, even if you're, like, the Pirates, like, you should want to win now. Like, I hate teams that just, like, sit around and have, like, this 10-year plan. It's like, 
your fans don't want that. Your fans want to win now. I realize not every team can do that, but, like, at least try. Like, at least make it look like you're attempting it. Like, if it can't happen, it can't happen, but at least give it a shot. It's like so many teams just seem to be sitting there in purgatory. And I'm not saying the Red Sox are like that. I mean, they're not great, but, the, you know, there's some teams that are even worse in terms of, like, just looking like they're not even really trying to be competitive. It's, like, just annoying if I'm a fan of those teams. Like, I mean, like, rebuilding is one thing, but... You know, when it's like the team isn't getting any better for four or five years, it's like there's really no plan here. Like, there's so many teams like that. There's teams that are decent that are like that, like the White Sox. I'm not saying they're decent, but, like, you know, they're not trying to make a bad team, but they're not – there's no plan. They're not making, like, a championship team. They're just there. They're just there to be there. There's a lot of teams like that. Texas Rangers, Oakland – well, Oakland A's have their money issues, but that's my point, though. There's just so many mediocre teams that might have a good year now and then, but – you know they're not really building anything, like, other than, like, the Yankees, Red Sox, Dodgers, Cubs, you know, you know, the handful of teams that are usually in it, the Braves lately, Astros, but even the Astros had to suck for, like, five, ten years before they got to where they are now, and it didn't just happen. Now they can afford to sign some free agents, because people want to go there, but and it's a weird sport, baseball, like, of all the sports, like, how a team can go from, like, one of the best to the worst really quick, but then, you know, if you don't have a plan, it just doesn't work. I don't know. I guess you say about any team or any sport. If you don't have a plan, you're not going to have a good product. For those of you just joining us, this is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. We're playing some Streets of Rage 4 survival mode today. Exciting little Wednesday stream, and uh, I'm talking baseball because my friend Dark Sage is here, and that just seemed to be the thing to do. And apparently, we're about to fight a boss because I'm not paying attention to the game. Uh, that's my thoughts on it. But yeah, I like the Padres' tenacity. Some people are going to be like, oh, they traded too much. And maybe they did. I couldn't tell you. Oh, great. This dink. Nice. Trying to go on the attack here. Ow. That's not going on the attack. That's just getting attacked. Guess I'll just do another one since I just recall I got another star on that one. So much going on. I'm doing so much damage, but, like, none of it's to the boss. Damn it. I had a lot of time to prepare for that, didn't I? Alas, it was not meant to be. Okay, so he's got the shield there. That's why I keep thinking I'm doing more damage than I'm doing. Ah, oh, great. I'm in some trouble here. What the hell is happening right now? It's like the game couldn't decide what attack to have him launch there. So it just went with none. Shit! Okay, nice dodge. Woof! I can get his shield down relatively soon. I just did. Got him. Woof! That was some good un unadulterated violence right there. If we got a chance to get three more star moves. I might go ahead and cash that in. What a cash in it'll be. See how successful it is right after this. Yeah, I'll take these just because we're getting into the later parts of the game, so... Take this giant oversized weight or whatever with me. That'll that'll make for some interesting fights. Whatever this thing is. Level 9. For some reason I thought that was level 12. So I'm not in great shape here. Oh, of course he caught it. How the hell do you catch that thing? Watch out. Another star. All right, so the game feels a little bad for me, at least. I always tell how bad the game feels for you by, like, stuff like that. Watch out. Oh, that's not watching out. Let's get hit right with it. Yeah, I'm not having any of that. Oof! Wow, that was some critical damage that did, too. Jeez. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. 
Watch out. I don't know why I did that. But then again, I'm low on health, so I kind of I can't afford to make too many like cautious moves right now. I got to go all in. Shit. Fuck. Go. I was gonna say, like, how long is this wave of enemies here? Yeah, I got, like, no more freaking whatever's here. Yeah, I, I need that, because my damn, my health is below 50%, and by quite a bit, so I'm gonna need that. Anyway. <sighs> Not feeling great about this one. Let's see what's next. See if I can just get a quick health up or something. Okay, there's usually one in here. Still not great. Watch out. So much for my ally. Like, my ally's just been shite right now. Is that it? Oh, I only get one use of that? I got an extra star. Can't wait to waste that. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use it. So I would rather use it and then, like, maybe not need it. And then, like, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's kind of a waste, but... Actually surprised he didn't catch that. I need that turkey. I'll even settle for that apple. That might be it, but I didn't want to say anything until I was sure. Uh, I'm going to do toxic weapons. <sighs> hey, what's going on, Randy? How you doing today? I say we've been seeing a lot of people today. A lot of really cool people. And Randy is, of course, among the coolest. Actually, you missed some pretty interesting Red Sox talk not that long ago. With my friend Dark Sage, who was on the stream for a little while. But for now, let's get back to these Streets of Rage. So he should be taken care of. Get these guys taken care of here. By taken care of, I mean killed. Make sure we dispatch them nicely. Leave no evidence. Oh, there's a Mrs. Y here. That's not good. Let's have a better season. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about, actually. I seem to think they will. Uh, Dark Sage, not so much. All right, time for my shot. Oh, somehow all those rockets were like in the other direction. Honestly, thought there was going to be more than that. All right. Damage taken down. I'll take this just because we're going up against a boss next. What boss is it going to be? Let's find out right now. Ooh, we're in a retro course. That could be good or bad. Find out which right now. Ooh, I hate this guy. That does do a ton of damage, though. I'm out of star moves. That's not good. Shit. Basically, these other guys don't matter. I just have to go for the big guy. 
I mean, they matter, but not really. Got him. Ooh. And I will take that golden halberd, whatever it's called, because I did not really need it. Although I did do a few hits with it, so I guess I did need it. I lied, I needed it a little bit. Level 13, threat level rising. What do you think about those Celtics, though? Definitely uh, a lot of wins from this year. We'll say having this ally on my side is kind of helping things. I guess that was kind of the point. They lost an oh yeah, good game though against the uh, Bucks. I mean, obviously not a good outcome, but of course you f you feel like they're gonna probably see the Bucks in over in overtime in the playoffs. So you know, gotta be ready for them. I've never thought the Celtics matched up well with the Bucks. Like no matter what the situation is, it just seems like they usually. The Bucks have their number. Now, they were able to beat them last year, so we'll see how it goes this time. So if I didn't keep having these things thrown at me, I'd be doing a lot better. Watch out. Fuck. Woo! That's the first time I saw the ally actually get the last hit there. Let's take a piece of that action. Holy crap. That is, as Randy would say, intense. All right. Golden knife. Yeah, we'll take that, I guess. Holy crap. Look at all the weapons on the ground. I still got that golden thing here. Not how long that's gonna last for, but all oh, the knife guys, you know how I feel about them. They will be my defeat. But we'll see if it's now or maybe later.
That was a gnarly combo to end that one. Not gonna lie. Ooh, I get an even stronger one. Let's do it. Oh, I get a Mr. Y? Is that who that is? Oh, that's actually kind of badass. I was just joking. Apparently, I really do get a boss character here. That's pretty neat. Can't wait to lose. Oh, let's hope I don't, but... This Golden Halberd thing is still here from, like, four rounds ago. Got some good durability and nothing else. Pretty cool. It is very cool, actually. I mean, I love me some Streets of Rage action. Just never know what you're gonna get from this channel. Got my own Mr. Y or Mrs. Y or whatever Y it is. I don't know why. <sighs> oh, great. Where am I at right now? Oh, he's got my golden halberd. <laughs> and hell no. I'd rather waste that than have it go to the enemy. Watch out. Oh, this DJ thing again. Whoa! Oh, that's actually my character. Okay. So I forget he also has a star move. Right, he's taken care of. They're taken care of. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, nice. Right before the laser wall hit me, too. Lucky, if anything else. All right. Fire special. Yeah, let's do fire special. I say we got to be coming up on a boss here. All right. Well, I got a pretty decent ally character right now. This is, oh god, this is going to be something. Here we go. Ooh, her. I was not expecting her, actually. Say, throw that. Say, she might actually be, a, like, hurt more by her own strategy to keep doing that. See, as long as this thing lasts, I think I finally broke it. Okay, that's a dumb move. Shit. Watch out. I don't know why I did that, but that should seal the win for me. Hopefully. Maybe not. She's gone. Not sure I really needed to use my star move there, but whatever. Toxic special, golden pipe. You know what? I was kind of ignoring the golden weapons for a while there, but given how good that halberd was for as long as it was, I kind of got to go with it. So this is going to get real intense now. As my aforementioned friend Randy might say. That's intense. What do we got? Ooh, the fireplace. Well, missed with my first shot of that. Oh my god. Say, I kind of like my ally, though. Fuck. I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna be really, like... What happened to my gold pipe? over here.
Yeah, that ally is actually really bailing me out right now. To a degree. He's a little more bailing, but... the hell? Oh my god. <sighs> wow. Oh my god. That was so rid I'm not going to make it probably more than another round now, but... Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Okay, there was an apple here in the corner, but... Wow. I need a breath after that. What happened to my gold pipe, by the way? Electric special's not going to do me much good right now, because I'm not going to use any special attacks with my health so low. Damn, that was ridiculous, though. That was like the longest wave so far, easily. Care of them. Oh, great. That just hit me. See, I need some health ups or something. None of this other stuff's gonna matter. Fuck, I'm dead. I'm dead. I saw it. Yep, I'm dead. Alright, well. That was pretty ridiculous, though. What is that? Round 20? Round 19? 18? Trophy earned. Phantom in the hole. I was gonna say, I had a pretty good ally on my side, too. Ooh, a weapons pack, too. I like that. Does that mean I can actually use those in the main game, I wonder? I got a couple new special moves. The air flashbang, whatever the other one was. Cool. Damn, that was really, really good. All right, well, I appreciate everybody watching today. A little Streets of Rage 4 action. Um, again, this is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. I'm going to have Retromania 54 here on Sunday, which will be here before you know it. Uh, that'll be right here, technically over there, in uh, Retrotrop Retrotropolis. Retropolis, I should say. But uh, definitely a fun time. I appreciate everybody staying tuned today for this Streets of Rage survival throwdown. And what a throwdown it was. Again, had a lot of great people here today for the stream, which I also appreciated. A lot of annoying enemy types, which I don't appreciate. But uh, as always, we'll see you in the next one. Stay chaotic and blur out. Chaos. Let's get retroactive.